On our channel we have made several benchmark videos, the latest one was Saints Row, so I think we are the perfect channel to simply explain how to show FPS in the game or CPU temperature or how much memory your computer is using. So let's jump right into it. You're gonna need two things, but luckily it's in one package. You're gonna Google Afterburner or go down into the description, click the link, you're gonna get here, you're gonna click the download Afterburner to get the latest version. You're gonna find out you download a zipped file, so a compressed one, you're gonna double click, double click again to install it. You're gonna say yes here, you're gonna choose your language and then you're gonna just follow the instruction. This is really important, you need both parts, MSE Afterburner and Rivaturner Statistics Server. They are both marked on default, so just hit next. You can choose your folder, I advise you to keep it as it is. And once installed, you're gonna open both. So both MSE Afterburner, let's put it to the left, and RTSS as Rivaturner and so on might show up in a try icon right here so just click on it let's put it next to each other okay so the MEC afterburner here you can go to settings in fact you have to go to settings to set it properly in a section monitoring is where you click each part which you want to be shown on the benchmark so like GPU usage car clock fan speed CPU temperature and frame rate. If you have the shown in on the screen display crossed, then it's going to show in your benchmark. You'll also want to go to on screen display because it's going to be empty when you first install it. And here you can enter your shortcut key for actually showing or hiding your benchmark statistic. That is the first one and you can set the on and off as well. For the second program that is the Reva Turner. It is only for a visual, so here you can set the color, make it bigger, smaller, and of course change the position. That's about it. Let's go into the game and let's show it on action. And as you can see, it showed for me right away. I just started the game having the both programs on. That's enough. With my shortcut key, I could press it. It disappears. And when I press it one more time, on again. Here you can see your frame rate as well as the graph that shows you how stable the frames per seconds are as well as CPU temperatures and more or less depending on your settings in MSI Afterburner. You might spend quite a few time with the settings of the both programs so if you don't want to if you want to achieve exactly the same statuses that I have that I shown in this video I have put both files into the description so you can download them. I'm gonna show you where you put them. Go to program files, x86. First, you're gonna look for MSE Afterburner. It is right here. And in the profiles, you're gonna copy the file into this folder and hit replace when it's asked you. The second one is also on program files and it is called Reva Turner Statistics Server. This is the one. And also there is profiles. So you're gonna do the same. You're gonna just copy the file that you download from the description under this video and you're gonna replace it. This way you're gonna get exactly what you see on the screen. So it wasn't so hard, wasn't it? If this video was helpful to you, please like it, share it. And this channel is all about free games from Epic. Sometimes we get even AAA games like Shadow of Tomb Raider next week. So if you're into that, consider subscribing and you're going to get notifications about all free games on PC all over the internet. So I hope to see you in one of that other videos.